Hey there fam, okay, I know it's been a long time. I apologize I haven't posted a video in a while. Just been so busy, but just know there's a lot of content, hopefully to come soon. And I've been getting a lot of questions about Teams. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can add an external email address to a Teams chat. There's many great business use cases for this. I personally, in IT, network with many other colleges and university professionals in order to get work done. And Teams does make it easy as long as your organization is set up to allow for it. So let's show you how to do it. I'm going to do it uh, a couple of different ways. So let's say um, my good old friend, oh, let's pick on Warren um, from the tech center. A colleague works at a different college, um, work with him on various projects time to time. And so let's say I wanted to start a chat with Warren. I would type in his email address here in the to field, then click his name. And then once I click his name, we see here there are two options. I could email him or I can see the chat bubble. That is Teams. So if we click on that, that would be one way to quickly start a Teams chat with that individual. Now, another way, I'm going to discard this, hopping over into Teams. Let's say I know Warren's email address. So I'm going to paste his email address in here. When we paste the email address, we will see Teams attempt to look for it in your contact list or Active Directory. When it cannot find it, then it will give you the option here, do you want to search for it externally? So you click on that option and it will let you know if it can find that account or not. If they do not have a Teams account or it's not an Outlook integrated account, then it will not show up. So in this case, we could not find Warren. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so now let's try another one. For example, a student. Now, again, it says we cannot find this initially, but you want to search. So I'm going to click to search, and lo and behold, it found this particular account. Now, notice next to it, it says external. This means for you in Teams, it's easy for you to see which chats are occurring from within the organization and which ones are occurring from outside the organization. Uh, for this particular email account, it's our student email account, and so that is a different domain, so it's going to treat it as external. If I click on it, we see that it starts that chat and I can start messaging away and there we go. Notice up here it also tells you external in the bottom right. And so if I say hi and hit enter, then it's going to start that chat. It will warn you they're outside the organization and that there could be message related policies. I have seen that sometimes you have the option to send memes, GIFs, uh, copy paste, attachments, and other times you don't depending on the policies. Um, but the conversations themselves have not had an issue with. So that is the probably the fastest way to initiate the chat is using the search bar. Now one thing I wanted to point out on your phone devices. So if you're using the app in Teams, just know that it's gonna pull over the information so that you can continue the conversation on in there. It will still give you the warning and it will let you know whether offline or online. And as long as on their end it sends over the user information, you'll see that listed. And notice next to the name, you'll see external. There's one thing to point out they may or, it may or may not show you their status if they're available or not. That again has to do with what they're willing to send over and what your organization is sending over. Pictures tend not to come over because those are stored locally. But otherwise, this should help you get started and utilize Teams, maximize the use of it. It's a great product. Microsoft continues to expand on it. So hopefully these tips help improve your workflow. Until next time, catch you later.